Hi everyone, how are you doing? We welcome you all to the hands-on video and impressions of the build 10586.318. Microsoft has pushed this build to both Windows insiders in release previewing and to non-insider who are running a device that shipped with Windows 10 Mobile or the devices which were officially upgraded to Windows 10 Mobile. So in a nutshell, if you are running a device with a Windows 10 Mobile build which is in range of 10586. So let's say if your device runs a build which has a OS build version 10.0.10586 point something. So it may be like 242.118. You should be able to get this build as a cumulative update. So for getting this build, either you need to have a officially upgraded or officially shipped kind of device or you should be a windows insider in a release previewing so what this build actually brings is uh, not noticeable changes uh, not new features but mostly bug fixes issue fixes and improvements <clears throat> in case of uh, if you talk about the non-insiders so non-insiders till now were on the build 10586.218 so the build brings lots of fixes and improvements for them. So if we, I mean, if you talk about our impressions, hands-on impression of the build 10586.218, so it was kind of a stable build. So if we talk about 10586.218, it was a stable build, but since uh, this build, uh, which is 10586.318, brings lots of fixes and improvements, it should be, uh, it should be a bit more stable, bit more, I mean, bit smoother, in uh, the last build 10586.218 so we will just check that <clears throat> so we let us begin with uh, doing a bit of hands-on and see how the build we have actually so uh, let's begin with the action center the usual expansion collapsing let's check the settings the settings open really fast Let's send it to the background. We will check the Microsoft Edge. Let's see how it behaves. Okay, so we have uh, one browser open here. We will open another browser. So the main issue that uh, were there was with the Microsoft Edge uh, were like crashing of the browser or the browser freezing sometimes. But usually if we have uh, seen our hands-on demos of the browser uh, in last few builds, especially for the build 10586 variants, then you will see that the browser behaves uh, in a much better way. The crashes are gone. It, it's much, much more stable. There are uh, less issues. We never had uh, issues with panning or zooming and stuff like that if we talk about this browser.
So if we go to the article and uh, we can see the list of fixes and issues, list fixes and improvements that this bill brings. We will quickly check it. So as you can see, the key improvements in this release are reliability, performance and stability improvements, fixes, so battery drain fixes, update system improvements. Even uh, it fixes some issue where there was some issue with the initial setup. Improvement to Cortana. Fix for a problem where that could result in the phone to hang or restart when visiting certain web pages in Microsoft Edge. So if you see this build brings uh, fixes and improvements in nearly many important fields. So in Microsoft Edge, in recording video, then it says uh, lots of reliability. So even there are like some fixes for the navigation bar where it, it was not uh, hiding somewhere in some in some apps so all these fixes must be uh, i mean they should play their part in uh, making the devices run faster smoother and the build should be obviously it should offer a better user experience for you so we'll send it to the background and we will later check the multitasking part so we saw the <coughs> how the navigation actually works here we saw the navigation we saw the settings we saw the action center we saw the browser so let's go to the store and check it once Let's send the store to background. We can open the Maps app. Let's send the maps to background as well. You can check the file explorer. Then one of the settings which uh, usually takes some time in loading, we can check the storage. And it loads quite good, quite well, fast. Let's send it to the background. So we can see that usually the build is behaving fine. We have been uh, playing with the build for now and the things that we do usually browsing i mean opening the apps etc though those all things are like uh, under control they're working fine loud let's check the multitasking part or maybe we can just open the camera and see let's check the short to short timings So that's fine actually the camera opens fast the short to short timings are good actually not the best but obviously for a budget device it's, it's really a good speed so let's send it to the background again we will check the multitasking part now how the multitasking we have and we can again notice that microsoft has it not fixed the bug very much visible bug which is uh, you know this missing start icon so not only this if we uh, open anything like let's say if we open the Wi-Fi 
and now if you go to background and see then you can see that all the system apps start wi-fi these all are missing icons so this is one visible bug that microsoft has not fixed it is now fixed in the latest redstone builds so but we hopefully microsoft uh, brings fixes and brings these miss missing icons in the system apps like wi-fi like it's said in the start app start screen so as we said if we you you open anything any of the system like so let's open this bluetooth settings the system icon will be missing here as well and it has not been fixed so it's a shame that microsoft has not fixed this issue even after being reported many times it has been done in redstone but what stops microsoft in fixing it here so that's that's something you know i mean funny actually so this is a visual bug that has not been fixed now coming to uh, multitasking part so let's open the apps which we sent to background there is no resuming thing everything resumes really fast check the store quite good actually the fast resume really works fast now let's open the cortana Just send Cortana to background. Now let's again check the things for a bit of multitasking demo. So as you can see the things resume really really good. I mean uh, even I, I can notice slight improvement in, in uh, the resume of the apps in this build. They are really resuming fast. Not saying that the last builds, the multitasking was not working fine. You know, multitasking even in the last 10586 point builds was good actually. It was working fine. But here also, as we see lots of, I mean, it's quite flawless. It, it resumes really fast actually. Very good. So well done Microsoft, at least in terms of multitasking on a low end last generation device like Lumina 525. I presume is working flawlessly. It's really good. So as you can see, uh, the build uh, is very stable, quite stable. For I mean, if you compare even to the last builds, which were which were themselves quite stable, it it feels a notch better. We did lots of multitasking. We did lots of uh, I mean, we did browsing apps opening we navigated and did lots of things but we did not uh, see any crashes apps are opening fast we did not encounter any uh, you know crashes or issues with the native apps so that with the third party apps uh, even there we see lots of stability so in a nutshell the build is quite stable quite good and it is uh, fit for a daily driver uh, now coming to how uh, the battery life has been so the battery life has been stellar the build brings fixes to uh, some issues where your battery i mean could have been discharged when your phone screen was off so that is gone and i mean if you ask about impression so uh, the battery life seems to be a bit improved over the last build now coming to the uh, other part which is like installation experience we always share it so installation was quite smooth for us it hardly took around 35 to 40 minutes for the device to you know uh, get i mean get the installation done uh, then restart booting up and migrating the data so it was all done in 40 minutes so that is a really good experience and we obviously have to say uh, to microsoft good work so with that we come to end of this video we uh, did hands-on multitasking we shared our impression of the build and according to us it it good fit for a daily driver we also shared the installation experience so hope you have liked the video stay tuned keep watching thanks